A new kind of medicine has been found that has the ability to slow down bodily processes that we relate to the aging process in all organisms. Unlike most studies related to longevity, this study is not just being done on mice or other animals, but instead, is directly used on human volunteers. Welcome to this episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you how the aging process in this study has been slowed down, what the results were and how you will be able to directly benefit from it in just a few months. For decades, the medication rapamycin has been proven to extend the health span of all organisms on which it has been tried. Everything from mice, worms to yeast. But there has yet to be a substantial trial to demonstrate safety and optimal dose for this purpose in people. It's past time that this knowledge is actually going to be put to use in a human trial. This is the first study to test if rapamycin works in people as well as it does in mice to extend their healthy lifespans. Rapamycin was the first chemical to be demonstrated to prolong the life of a mammal or mouse, even when administered late in life. It also has the potential to treat age-related disorders including Alzheimer's and heart disease, as well as enhance our immune system. After calorie restriction, it is by far the most researched longevity intervention. Rapamycin works by inhibiting the MTOR signaling system, which is one of the master controllers of cell metabolism and a critical regulator of autophagy or cell recycling. Essentially, it instructs our cells to switch from growth to repair and to eliminate any waste. Not only that, but the quality of the proteins produced by our cells improves, implying that there is less waste to begin with. All of this translates to better health and longer lives for worms, flies, and mice. And with the help of this study, now it's our turn. Rapamycin appears to be a universal anti-aging medicine, since it extends longevity in all investigated animals from yeast to mammals, inhibits cell senescence, and delays the onset of age-related disorders, which are symptoms of aging, according to the overwhelming evidence. Although rapamycin has the ability to reverse some signs of aging, it is more successful at slowing down rather than reversing the process. As a result, rapamycin will be most beneficial when given before the onset of age-related disorders, or even before the onset of pre-disease. Dr. Karosi, for example, proposed that MTOR inhibitors might be effective in the early stages of Alzheimer's disease. Furthermore, rapamycin and everolimus are better at preventing cancer than they are at curing it. They may be beneficial in the treatment of osteoporosis, but not in the treatment of a broken hip caused by an osteoporotic fracture. Rapalogs may help prevent myocardial infarction by slowing atherosclerosis, but they are unlikely to help reverse an infarction. Anti-aging medications, in other words, help people live longer and are most effective before diseases cause organ damage and loss of function. So simply said, rapamycin works by tricking the body into believing it is calorie deficient, which is why the contractor has to bring in all the people for remodeling work. Cellular workers eat your oldest, weakest cell components, including senescent cell sections. These are cells that can no longer divide and are considered to contribute to aging and maybe cancer. That is to say, rapamycin may provide you with all of the benefits of fasting without the hunger. In addition to research on rapamycin in yeast, worms, flies, and mice, scientists started working on dogs in 2014. They discovered that individuals who took the medication had younger hearts and that age-related cardiac problems were reversed. Over the course of a year, the Pearl trial will follow up to 200 people and assess four alternative rapamycin dose regimens. It will be a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial that will be registered with clinicaltrials.gov. Dr. James Watson, the lead investigator, was also a pie for the infamous TRIIM trial. The blood of the participants will be monitored on a regular basis to verify their safety, and any negative effects will be noted. After 6 and 12 months, a battery of tests and measurements will be done. Autonomic health tests, blood tests, body composition tests, fecal microbiota testing, immunological and inflammation health tests, methylation age clock testing, and skeletal muscle tests are among the procedures that will be performed. We shall learn if and how well rapamycin works to counteract human aging as a result of this research. And, armed with a positive result, we'll be able to help you and people you love and care about delay the onset of age-related damage. The 200 patients will be divided into four dosage arms after they are enrolled in the study, 2.5 mg of rapamycin three times a week. 
5 mg of rapamycin once a week. 5 mg of rapamycin twice a week. 10 mg of rapamycin once a week. In addition, there is a placebo control arm, which is critical for scientific legitimacy as well as statistical analysis. Carefully design these dosing regimens to allow for weekly recovery while keeping the overall dose below the usual rapamycin dose used in renal transplant patients. The participant's safety is crucial, therefore in addition to monitoring for any side effects, their blood will be checked for CBC, electrolytes, lipids, liver, and renal function. The trial's findings will be published in a peer-reviewed open-access scientific journal. In addition, any party will be able to access the data collected throughout the experiment. First of all, if you are in the proper age group, the Ageless RX telemedicine technology will be used to screen interested patients for eligibility. Patients between the ages of 50 and 85, regardless of gender or ethnicity, who are in relatively excellent health and have solely well-managed, clinically stable chronic conditions are eligible. Another rather important info about this clinical trial is that unlike other trials, this one is publicly funded instead of relying on the government or similar institutes. This is one of the reasons they're actually able to conduct human trials instead of having to focus on more cost-effective ventures such as experimenting on animals such as mice. In fact, it's so publicly funded that you can donate right now and receive some nice rewards. But don't worry about this not reaching its goal since it has already surpassed it by almost three times and stands at around $200,000. There's nothing stopping the study from doing even more in the future, so if you'd like to help fund it, then you can do so by clicking on the link below. With all of the fantastic work they're doing, it will only benefit everyone one of us. This is an incredible team of researchers and I can't imagine their work being in vain. Their motto is, research, discover, test, and cure. I, th I think there's going to be a lot of breakthroughs on the medical front, uh, particularly around the synthetic uh, mRNA. Uh, you can basically do anything with uh, synthetic uh, RNA, DNA. Um, it's, really, it's like a computer program. So, I mean, I think with enough, with, with, uh, with an effort that's not too crazy, you could probably stop aging, reverse it if you want. Um, uh, these are, you can basically do it. You can turn someone into a freaking butterfly if you want with the right DNA sequence. So, I mean, caterpillars do it. So, is it too late to take rapamycin once aging reaches an unhealthy stage? Actually, it is not too late. Even if one or a few age-related diseases renders aging unhealthy, other potential diseases are still at pre-disease stages, and anti-aging drugs may delay their development and they may slow down further progression of existing overt diseases. So, what is your opinion on this potential first-of-a-kind medicine to significantly slow down the aging process in humans? Do you believe that this study is going to result in anything of value in the field of longevity, or is it doomed to fail? Please tell us in the comments below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.